Mr. Ariel Sharon, who is hospitalized in our hospital for the last seven years, shows some signs of deterioration during the following two days with some critical misfunction or malfunction of some of its organs, including his kidneys. Uh, he is under, uh, I would say, our treatment, uh, but we feel that the situation is critical and some danger is expected for his life. Because in this situation, in his age and his, in his condition, uh, this uh, critical malfunction of some of his uh, internal organs are threatening his life. Some uh, assess, assessment of doctors is that this is a matter of, uh, of time, of uh, days, maybe hours, that uh, uh, Ariel Sharon will not be with us. Uh, this is a very sad moment for me because I was uh, his advisor for over 15 years. And, uh, and uh, the, the, it's, a, it's a very sad moment also for people in Israel because Ariel Sharon was an icon in Israel. He was uh, like Nelson Mandela was for, for people in, uh, in uh, South Africa. It is a great man who has also some periods of um, uh, less uh, consensual action. But uh, mainly I want to remember uh, the man who stands uh, from the 50s to the 60s, who are the great general of Israel. I want to remember this man more than the man of the, of the, last, uh, of the last years. Of course, in the past uh, 10, 15 years, he was in a big uh, conflict in Israel. He uh, disappointed a lot of his supporters. Uh, but uh, we cannot take uh, away from him what he did for this country since 1948 until today. All these wars, uh, the way he led uh, the Yom Kippur War, and uh, it's going to be a sad day. One of another, uh, the Israeli giants is going.